Hello everybody and welcome to the Dota 2 Winter Season Pass patch where we make money and uh, update Dota into a playable state or stuff like that. Uh, so, as you can see, my, I played my last game on the 15th of December. Phantom Assassin was pretty good, you know, good to know, right? I don't really play that much Dota, I always like knowing when I played my last match, so seems pretty accurate. Right, been 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 a little while since I played Dota, honestly. But hey, you know it's, it's good to know that's still up there. I did pretty well in that match, so I'm quite proud of that. Uh, while we add it, you know, like since I haven't really been caught up with the game too much, let me just go ahead and watch a replay really quick. Really quick, right? Uh, we could go ahead and go into let's play the replay league season three, right? That seems pretty. Oh, that game was played today. That game was played today. Um, let's watch that game, right? That that was a game that we played today. I feel like. Oh, that was, that was played today, you know, like, I want to be up to date with, like, the competitive environment of Dota, right? I want to actually, you know, kind of see what's going on. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look. Oh, oh well, that's, isn't that interesting? Hmm. All right, you know, maybe that, that replay is just screwed up. Let's just go ahead and uh, download another one really quick, right? Let's just go ahead and take a look at this one instead. This one is still from today, from today, right? Um, uh, It's still... Seems pretty interesting, we get Skyrim vs. Tornado Rocks. Sure, why not, right? So let's just go ahead and load into that one really quick, and then we can, again, take a look at what's going on in the current competitive... Oh. Hmm. Now, uh, look, this is not okay. This this is just not okay, right? Uh, while uh, this is not okay, right? Um, this replay, for example, is a replay we could actually watch because it was actually played after the patch, right? But other than that, there's nothing you can watch. There's just nothing. Nothing works, right? Uh, if you go into this right here, you, you can even tell that uh, 36 people are watching. That seems a little unlikely, right? Let's just be honest with you. 36 people for a game of, between these two teams, that seems a little unlikely. Early on, it was literally zero. Um, also, the time was uh, at a later stage, but I don't, I don't fucking know what's going on there, right? So that seems a bit unlikely, right? So replays are just broken. Replays just don't work. But you know what? We don't necessarily just need to... Um, Deal with replays. Like, how about we just go ahead and go into the arcade and play some custom games, right? Like, we know Overthrow is going to work. That's nothing nothing crazy. But, you know, like, I, I wanted to do actually something that's a, a little bit, bit different. We haven't done too much of it yet. So, how about we play some Petri? This, this game has been updated on, on Friday. Last Friday. It's really not that long, right? That's about as much as you can expect of custom games. Like, really, like, they are... Like, this guy is really, as you can see, like, actively trying to get everything fixed. Actively making sure that everything is ready. Um, now, let me go ahead and put a, a password in here, right? So, let me go ahead and pass... Put my usual password, M&I. Uh, as you can see, I typed in M&I. If I not don't hide the password, then we can see. Um, it's just that there's only one dot, right? For some reason, every free three letters is one dot. Yeah, you tell me why, right? But, uh, let me just go ahead and, um, host this game really quick, get in here. Sure, let's play some Petri, right? Let's play some custom games. It's one of the big selling points of Dota, right? We have, like, a really good replay system, which we can use to watch, like, competitive games. We can always be up to date. We can have in-game casting. That's amazing, right? Uh, we can also, of course, go ahead and, uh, play custom games, and have a good time with those, right? So that's just, oh, uh, you know, the, the count D is ticking down and we can obviously select uh, which team we want to play on. Okay, you know what? You know what? Maybe it's just Petri that's fucked up. Right, maybe that's just Petri that's fucked up. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, give something else a whirl. All right, let's just go ahead and take a quick look. So, uh, uh, a custom game I wanted to play earlier was uh, this one. Actually, no, no. What is it called? Comic? Yes, Comic Zero Wars. As you can see, updated today. Today, right? I wanted to see how this, this game would work, so let's go ahead and put in our free letter password. And let's just, let's just play a bit of this. Right, again. Go into this really quick. Seems pretty fine. Now, uh, I have experienced some small light issues while hosting custom games. For example, things like, uh, you know, going into a lobby and like like going into like the hosting custom game thing, and then I click on it and it just stayed around. It literally just stayed there. But there we go. We have good guys versus bad guys. Seems fantastic. 
So, let me just go ahead and pick the most uh, comic book hero in the game. Let's pick Elsa. Oh, we don't have abilities. Hmm. Hmm. Isn't that awkward? I mean... I mean, we can't really expect Valve, though, to, like, patch with custom games of mind, though, right? Like, that's really asking for a lot there, I think. I mean... Now, really, let's be honest about it. The, the thing that matters, right, the thing that matters to us is that we now have the Battle Pass, which we can go ahead and spend money on. Go suck a dick, Valve.